We're out here in Moab standing with Bryce over here from Dixie Four Wheel Drive. Uh, we're looking at his badass Jail Wrangler and he's gonna show us all the cool tricks that he's got on it. So would you mind giving us a walk around of the thing? Yeah, let's come check it out. We started with the 2018. We actually originally bought it in January when they first, you know, they first came out. We didn't order one, but we got one of the first ones we get our hands on. So you're looking at the 2018 JL. Um, we kind of changed everything, you know, from the looks, we wanted to build a Jeep that looked like a JL. You know, sure. everyone, you can overbuild one real quick and make it look like a JK. But we went for lean and mean. So it's got a 6.4 Hemi. We changed out the transmission as well at 56 miles. <laughs> Took out motor, <laughs> tranny, transfer case, put in the 2019 Ram eight speed in it. So it could hold up to the 500 horse. Kept the Rubicon transfer case, put a Pro Rock XD60 front end, XD80 rear end. We did a three link front four link rear, move the fuel tank to the back. The really trick part is come around here. Jeep makes frames in, in sections. So section number one, section number two, and you, as you can see here, section number three is all custom clear to the bumper. So we literally took this Jeep, cut it in half and built around it. No one had available parts. So we ordered 14 inch coilovers, 14 inch by, started just, it's easier to make our own frame than trying to make a fuel tank work with this. We knew if we bought, this size tank and this, we can make it all play together. Honestly, it's one badass machine. You got to go for a ride in it. That's awesome. So everything's all custom then? Everything's custom. I say custom. We just did it to another JK with a single shock. Mm -hmm. And when you do a single shock up front, it's easier to get a 14 inch coil over up there and still keep the ride height low, you know, but with sure. a dual shock, you know, you got to keep them sinking together. So, uh, but it runs 12 fronts, 14 rear. And I say custom, the idea behind it was we get these customers that have money and they want an instantaneous build. Right. If we were to build our back half kit, you could drive in in a day, lift the body off, cut the frame off, slide the new back half on, already linked. So our back half kit has the four link mounts on it, shock mounts, every brake lines, everything's done. Set the body back down and you got, you can put whatever motor transplant while the body's off. Sure. Factory th three, six, eight speed, two liter turbo, whatever you want, put it back on and make it go out in a timelier manner. That was the idea behind it. First of all, we got to test it and have fun with it and make sure it's exactly what we want. So how long have you been testing it for? Uh, we're at 2,500 miles now. We bought it brand new, but that's 2,500 almost off-road miles. So sure. Sand Hollow's our backyard in St. George, and yes. now it's here in Moab. It's my personal Jeep, so it's here with me in Moab 24-7 now. So the idea is I should really be able to tell you how well it does <laughs> in a short amount of time. So looking at all the... Uh the coilover towers and the control arms, these are all yours? All right, so we use Summit Machine Solid two inch aluminum 7075 links with their built flex joints. It's a Fox 2.5 uh, coilover and then a 2.5 triple bypass. We ordered it custom where we could split it to, you know, clear the sway bar. We went with all FK rod ends to make super strong sway bar links. As you start giving that much travel, especially when you do something like a three link that it really allows it to move nice, we wanted strength. We wanted everything that could hold it together. Three links don't bind like a four link does, you know, when you get into that much travel. But yeah, every bracket, as you can see, it's all cut and made right there, track bar brackets, everything is all made. But we wanted to start with a V8 because when we build our towers, I want to make sure Hemi has tall head wide. We want to make sure all that could tuck in without any modification. We're the first ones. This is first V8 JL that was out and actually, you know, Moab, we had it last year at EJS. Right. People were showing up with bumpers and we had a whole Jeep. So. <laughs> kind of a unique Jeep if you know what you're looking at. But if you step back, it is a little bit of a sleeper Jeep because we left the stock fender flares. We left that iconic JL look. Right, with the, with the lights in it and everything else. Yep, yep. So the rear, uh, you had mentioned that you relocated the gas tank. Yeah, take a and, look from uh, the bottom side. If you take a look underneath here, you can so, see the three link uh, or the four link. Yep, four link. Yeah, triangulated right. four link. And you can see the exhaust. We actually snaked that exhaust all the way out the back. Look how tight that oh, thing is. Oh yeah, look at that. So when you really start looking, it's like, wow. And you can tell we built a whole new frame here, but see how the link mounts are all on it? Yep. So it has big weld plates on the front and inside. So it's really beefy, really strong. You know, we wanted the biggest axles we could do. We wanted the strongest links we could do. We wanted the most shock we could put on, but still be an ultimate all around vehicle. That was the sure. idea of this, you know, it's, it, but at that time, because everything was new, we had to build, build a whole new back half. We had to build our own bumpers. We had to build, you know, stuff that just wasn't available last year on a JL. Right. As you know, you were one of the first building and there you pick right. up the phone. No, we don't have none yet. Well, <laughs> what, what, what do you have and when is it going to be available? And so in this case, we're like, you know what, let's just build one, you know, let's just build our own. 
So is the gas tank something that you built as well, or are you using It's a like Genrite 25 gallon fuel tank. Got What's it. nice about the 25, uh, a Genrite tank is the TJ, JK, JL, actually all share the same top plate. Right. So you can actually make it work. Of course, the tricks of the trade that we're not gonna give away yet is you do have to modify fuel pumps and stuff with the V8s and stuff like that. So we were able to get it all to work and play together, but it took a little doing. But now it's centered weight, right? So the handling of this thing is like nothing else. So when you're actually going through the big bumps and stuff, well, sure, with the triangulated four link too, I'm sure it's really awesome. It it, it handles like a car. You yeah, know, it's very very impressive. Not even though it's a <laughs> wobble in the back end, and not the wiggle, funny feel. Yeah. You know, you could stay on the power through the bumps and the steering. You know, it's just <laughs> it, it's a very luxurious off road machine. That is know? awesome. But it's my daily driver, so I'm I'm really looking forward. I love the JL. Going from a JK to a JL is like. You, you couldn't take me back. Yeah, no, I, I'm with you. I'm with you 100%. Anything on the inside or is it just all It's just suspension? all boxed in and all yeah. suspension. On the inside, we actually did do a couple a couple things. We wanted, uh, it's a little dirty, sorry. That's but we good. did do, a, we wanted to keep, once again, the factory dash look. We were trying to really show as a JL to our customers. We did order a custom diamond stitch leather and did the red center console. And we wanted to make it look classy, but like I said, it was meant to be a, a nice functioning Jeep they could go out and go hit Pritchett and drive home and go drive it to Las Vegas if you wanted, you know? That's awesome. So. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate the walk around. Yeah, no, anytime. Thank you guys for uh, checking it out. Look forward to watching it. Awesome. If you guys want to see this badass Jeep online, where should they go? So our website for one, Dixie4WheelDrive.com, you can go to builds, Jeep, Real, Jeep Builds. It's under that classification. Another way to find it through social media is the hashtag DixieJL1. You'll see it. If you type in Hemi JL, you'll you'll find it. You know, I posted a lot of pictures of the build process, the frame cut in half, the body off. You know, you can go follow the whole, you know, there's at least 50 plus pictures in that, you know, in that tagline, Dixie JL1. Dixie JL1. You guys got it? Check it out. He's giving me the keys to start this thing up. If I can get in here. <laughs> All right. I think we need one of these. And Cindy's got me on tape. <laughs> awesome. It's not just rad. It's totally awesome. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you guys. Appreciate Good it. To see you.